Hey coaches, welcome to my YouTube channel. Gonna be a little bit different this time instead of having an X and O deal. I wanna to talk to you about something I think is more important than that. That we're kinda of getting into that point where we're seeing it in the football universe with social media among coaches, which is very disappointing. But you're also gonna see it among your players as the season starts getting ready to rev up. It's called crab mentality. If you've never heard about crab mentality, essentially, here's where the metaphor comes from. And I'm no fishing expert, I'm definitely not an expert on crabs, so I'm just gonna give you the metaphor the way it was said to me. If you capture a bunch of crabs, let's say you capture 20 or 30 crabs, and you put them in a bucket, you don't have to put a lid on that bucket. Why wouldn't you have to do that? Because the crabs can't physically crawl out? No, they, they can crawl out physically. What starts to happen is uh, crabs start to panic. And so if a crab tries to escape the bucket by climbing out, which it's capable of doing, the other crabs will literally rip its arms apart, pulling it back down. Because they can't, they don't understand what's going on. The metaphor is they can't stand to see that crab climb out and it not be them. So the idea of crab mentality is that severe jealous mentality of not wanting other people to be successful because you feel that it maybe makes you look worse. And you see this in the professional world all the time where peers will bash another peer who's trying to better themselves. But you also see it, and what I want to focus on is inside of a team where you know everybody on the team matters. Some guys on the team or girls on the team have a larger role than others. And when that person becomes successful, the team has to decide what kind of mentality are we gonna have? Are we gonna have a crab mentality or we're gonna rip apart that person because we're so jealous and insecure of ourself? Or are we going to change and flip the mentality? So let me give you a few examples of this. Uh, and I would hate to coach basketball right now because it's a difficult sport. It's a beautiful sport, super difficult in this world. You're seeing it infiltrate every sport, football, soccer, basketball, volleyball. It's, it's infiltrating all of it because we're becoming so individualized that we, we would rather our self individual do well than our team do well. And that's called crab mentality. I would rather rip apart anyone who's doing better than me than to help them and help our team to succeed. And that's something as a coach you need to deal with early on. And one, one of the phrases that my, actually my wife and I use a lot because we're both extremely competitive people is we'll look at each other every now and then and we'll say this, we need to complete each other, not compete against each other. Now hear me clearly, I'm not talking about practice when you're trying to make each other better. You should be competing as much as you can. I'm not talking about competing against an opponent. You ought to be competitive or you're not gonna win. I'm talking about when the game is out there and your coach has decided or the coach has decided to put his best people out there, we are there to complete each other. One of the best things you can do as a coach to help this is to have meetings regularly with your players and explain to them their value on the team and their role on the team. I know when I used to coach basketball, you sit down there and talk about, and I just did it in front of everybody because I was old and didn't care who got their feelings hurt, who's our best player on this team as far as scoring? And they would, most of the kids know, I mean, 95% of them are gonna to point to the one kid and you're gonna say, well, who needs to shoot the ball the most? Well, that guy does, okay? All right, who's probably our best rebounder? And they point to that one. And you kind of work your way down there. And then you have these one-on-one -on -one conversations with the kids who weren't the best shooter, they weren't the best rebounder, they weren't the best whatever it might be in your sport, okay? And you talk to them about what is your role? What can you do to help our team? And that role might, might be practice. It might be giving this person a great look. It might be when you're on the floor being the best at setting a screen. Or if you're in football, you might be the, you know, your job is to protect so-and-so. Your job is to do whatever it is. So translate it towards your sport, but have these open, honest conversations one-on-one, -on -one, or maybe have a coach in the room with you, but with your athletes so they understand their value and how they're going to complete our team not compete against our team. And then have the conversations of, hey, look, your leaders, your ones that are getting to rise above and are getting the, the publicity, explain to them the responsibility that comes with. Everyone on this team sacrificed so you could get where you are. 
So you need to make sure you have the mindset of being grateful and thankful to them. And let's get out of this crab mentality where we're bitter towards people that are our peers or equal. Take this now and apply it towards your professional life. How many times do you see somebody bash another person on social media? To me, you don't ever see greats bash somebody trying to rise up. What you usually see is people that are insecure in who they are bashing somebody else for trying to do something. So to me, not only does this message ring true to our athletes, it needs to ring true to ourself. You know, and everyone struggles with it because we see somebody be successful and there's gonna be an instant feeling of jealousy that we've gotta overcome you know, unless we wanted to live in this world of crab mentality. Hopefully you got something from this, guys. I'll get back to doing X's and O's soon. It just was something that was on my heart. I thought maybe it could help you or your athletes. I'm about to be putting out a new book uh, called Team Themes. It's 14 different ways uh, to kind of talk about more than the game with your athletes. Excited about it. There'll be news coming out about it soon. Thank you for your time.